What's up guys, today we are, I think we've reviewed one song by these guys. Um, the band is Shadow of Intent, and this song is called The Heretic Prevails. And if I remember right, these guys are much more just straight metal, but I know I, I believe I enjoyed the last song by them a lot. So with that being said, let's just listen to it.
Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. His vocal range is amazing. I don't think it's used as well as it could be used. But it is really impressive, all the same. Um, the piano riffing is something that I normally like. I like the floating piano solo type arpeggio, whatever you want to call it, um, over, mute, over metal because it usually contrasts drastically the feel. But in this case, there's too much of it, I think. There's too much of the piano for its own good. It kind of detracts or um, distracts you from the actual song. Um, honestly, um, one of the things I was thinking while watching this was that this this particular song, I'm not saying everything the band does, but this particular song would kind of fall in, and get lost in mainstream metal, if you will. And it would be conf like, I can see it getting confused with bands like I See Stars and other metalcore bands that go for a similar piano driven metal sound that can get overdone. Um, that doesn't take away from how impressive some of this was. And there was that this one breakdown here that was just phenomenal. I think it was right around this moment. Yeah, this one. Yeah, that was an incredible breakdown. I really liked it. Um, it didn't build up to it as much, and it didn't come out of nowhere as much as I would have liked, because some of the best breakdowns are either breakdowns you did not remotely see coming, or you can feel it through the whole song of it building up, building up, building up, and then it comes, and you're just like, that was well worth the wait, you know? Um, I get a lot of screamers have that one pose where they're screaming and their shoulders in front of them. Um, I get that, but a lot of the positions and stuff he does in this video seem like they come off of other screamers. Um, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing because it shows, you know, if you will, in a sense it pays homage to the other the screamers that they look up to and screamers that have come before kind of like in this he does the Mitch Lucker stomp which is kind of branded as Mitch Lucker stomp because he really was the first one who consistently did that and like stuck with it but yeah overall it was musically it was pretty good it was obviously stuff like this takes skill regardless so I'm not trying to say they're not skilled I'm just saying that when it comes to metalcore the song would probably get lost in the mix because it's it does sound very similar to other metalcore that's out there so yeah it was enjoyable but it won't be super memorable for me anyway with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I apologize that this was such a short reaction and so bland, but yeah, I don't have a huge amount to say to it. So yeah, anyway, as always, comment down below um, what you would like me to react to, and I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, as always, stay safe, stay kind, and stay healthy. Peace.